All right, so we're getting the party started by priming our eyelids with the NYX Full Coverage Concealer. So I'm just placing that all over my lid. And then I'm going to go in with this Airspun Translucent Powder like I normally do and place that on top of my lids to set the concealer. So today we are working with the It's My Ray Ray palette. I'm super late, but I'm super excited to use this. It is so, so pretty. And I'm first going to go in with that color Pancake and place that in my crease. Just as a transition shade, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't completely sure where I was going. But I'm going to go in now with Spice and place that right under where I put Pancake. Just to create some more dimension and depth to build up my crease. So now going in with that shade Pancake again, I'm just diffusing the edges of that shade that we just put down and just taking it up a little too. So now I'm going into Sunset and I'm placing that kind of in my crease, but not higher than my actual crease, but I'm blowing it upwards. And then I'm going to go in with Friday and place that. A little bit higher than I placed Sunset. So yeah, y'all, we're just throwing colors in because I wanted to maximize this palette. And once I start using this little brush right here, I'm just diffusing color. So I didn't add anything extra. So now I'm taking a sip because I was thirsty. And now I'm going in with Connie. And I'm going to place that above where I put the other colors. So I try not to do another purple and pink look, but here we are. So yeah, just place that above your natural crease and blow it out as well. And then here I go again, blending again with that brush. And then I'm going to go into Black Beauty because I wanted to try to be different and throw some darkness in the look. And so I place that down with a small brush. And then I'm taking my Morphe M441 and blending that out. Sis, you got to blend until you can't blend no more. I mean, you got to blend until you have blended your sins away, okay? Because this color is black, black. It's like, she did not come to play with that black. So, again, take that brush and just diffuse edges. Now I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Pure Beige. And I am going to cut my crease because lately it seems like that's all I know how to do is cut my freaking crease. But I just love the way it looks. And yeah, it was enough shadow going on. I was like, okay, in order to bring this back and salvage the look, I had to cut my crease. So I took a smaller, more detailed brush to do this and it's really stiff just so I make sure I'm as precise as I want. So you can take any brush that you have, and I'm just creating a round cut crease. Then I'm going to go in with one of the contour shades in Chai and place that on top of the concealer just to set it until I put other shadows on top. So now taking this smaller lip defining brush. I think this is an eyeliner brush actually. Anyways, I'm going back into Black Beauty, and I'm defining that line on my crease that I created to bring that black back because I kind of lost a little bit of it when I did cut my crease and I didn't know it was going to do that or I would have put it higher. So you live and you learn. Now I'm going into Angel and that is going in the innermost part of our eye. So these shimmers are so so pretty and I'm taking that on a small brush just so I could concentrate it. I wasn't sure exactly how far I wanted to take it. But yeah, I'm just putting that in the front inner corners and I'm dragging it out. Now I'm going in with Allison and I'm placing that with my finger in the middle. And then I'm going to go in with Tiffany and place that on the very outer corners. So I go back in with a smaller brush. I know that went kind of fast, but I did want to place it down. And I figured out it places better with your fingers at first. And then you can go back and define with the brush. So that is what I did here. I was just kind of going down the row of shimmers, but it turned out cute. So there's that. So then I'm just blending all the shimmers together with a small brush. And I'm going to take my black liquid liner by NYC and just create a line over my lash line, but not a wing. I just want to be able to cover my lashes. 
And so I'm just taking some mist lashes and then a bow. Ta-da. Watch out now. Ooh, girl. And we are back. So now I'm taking the contour shade Mocha and I'm defining my nose or defining, girl, what? <laughs> Contouring my nose. I went ahead and did my foundation off camera and my lashes. And then I'm going to dip in both Mocha and Brownie Bite. And y'all, Brownie Bite is pigmented as hell, okay? You have got to watch it because you will overdo it if you're not careful. So I am just contouring my normal areas, my jawline, my cheekbones, my forehead, all of that good stuff. And then I'm going to go back in and define my contour with my black opal powder. Yes, in 400 medium, the way I normally do. Now I'm going into this black eyeliner. I believe this is by Jordana. I put that in my waterline because I wanted it to kind of match the black that was already on top. And then I'm taking black beauty and I'm just kind of smoking it out. I haven't done black on my waterline in a minute, but I thought it was appropriate for the look. So that's what I did. And this is just a small angled brush by e.l.f. And then I'm going back into the colors we put on top and smoking out my lower lash line. So that includes Connie, Friday, and Sunset. Then we're just trying to define these bottom lower lashes with this mascara. And I'll have the name of everything I use in the description box below. But now I am just dusting away any extra powder with this big old powder brush. Now going into my Beauty Treats blush palette. I'm taking those two colors and I am just giving myself some color on my cheeks. And I'm going to blend it out as well. I like to place it down and then blend it out. And then I'm just drawing on my faux moles with that same black eyeliner I used to put in my waterline. So now going into Radiant and French Toast, we are defining, ooh, girl, defining our highlight. So we are illuminating and I'm placing that in my normal spots as well. Cupid's bow, nose, cheeks, all of that good stuff. And these are so pretty. It, it's popping, but it gives you a glow from within at the same time. So I just went crazy and placed a little bit in my brow bone as well because why not? Life is short. And then I'm going to take my Absolute Beauty Spritz to Fix Matte Setting Spray. And then I'm going to pat that in with my Damp Body Blender the way I normally do. And then I'm going to go back in with Highlight. And I feel like this truly gives that blinding, sis, I can see you on the freeway without your headlights on type of blind and so I just blend that in with the body sponge too because you have to blend your highlight in okay so now I'm outlining my lips with two lips from Colourpop this is an ultra satin and then I'm gonna go in the middle of that with this black radiance lip I'll have the name of it below because I can't remember right now sis I am so sorry I apologize and then I'm gonna go on top with this NYX liquid lingerie liquid lipstick and place that in the center for a little light then i found this random pink glittery lip gloss so i threw that on there too y'all i didn't know where i was going i promise you i didn't and then i decided to take some of radiant and place that on top of the gloss and it ended up really pretty and that is it 